I'm in the car with this guy, which everybody, I'm assuming you guys know who he is. Kader called me. What's up? So how you doing today, Kader? I'm doing good, my man. I What's have a million questions for you, man. And I'm, I'm one of your students, as you know. Thank you for giving me the time to be with you, man, to learn a lot from you. But my question for you is, if you can tell me, why is it so hard for people to, you know, to invest on and on their business? Why is that? Why is it so hard? Like on their own, you know, business. I mean, most people are not used to investing. I mean, the average person they used they used to buying, you know, and, and buying is based on emotion. Most people they buy stuff they need. They buy a TV. You know, you get a temporary emotional. A relief when you buy a new car or a new TV it gives you that temporary you know feeling like oh I just got something new I just got something I'm excited about but when it's investing into yourself the the return on investment is never on it's not instant gratification you know the other reason why people they love to spend because they get instant gratification so if they buy a car they get a car right away if they buy a sneaker they get to wear it right away and impress their friends and if they buy uh, uh, you know anything new they get instant gratification but when it comes to investing there's no such thing as instant gratification you gotta work the investment you gotta take time you gotta let it grow so I think that's one of the reason is the fear like a lot of people don't know what to expect and there's no instant gratification so therefore it makes people have this fear of I don't know maybe I'm gonna lose maybe I'm not gonna win so that's one of the reason why people don't like to invest or don't want to invest into themselves but once they get past that they realize only money invested is the only money they have the hope of ever seeing back you buy a TV you'll never see that money back you buy a shoes you'll never see that money back but if you invest your money it can go out there and make you more money so once they get past that mindset they realize man then they start getting comfortable with investing into themselves so, so I'm here with my boy I'm gonna be checking out some soup. This place is pretty dope. I don't know what you gotta think. Look at this. What? What the heck is this? Looking fly. This is slim, but it's cut short. Well, Joe got me cut a little long, but right here. Turn around, okay? once. But it's a short turn around, jump, bro. But this all frosty and the high pump be. Turn around, son. In the slim, okay? Alright. So I'm about to try this suit. See how it feels. Right? Gotta get fitted. Yeah, this week will be a 44. Man, my man is looking sharp. Yes, he is. Wow. I know he's looking sharp. Wow. <laughs> Look how he's on. Suck it out. So, yeah, so I don't need to do this much, but that's fine. Yeah, that's fine. You like this? Oh, man, this is this fits you perfect, though. Yeah. yeah. This side. Down. This guy's ready. Because we about to have some fun at this wedding. We trying to buy 16 suit, man, in one. 16 suit. That's crazy. In one go. Oh, 16. Look at that. Stick, look at all those. We just gonna take the whole closet, put take that on rack. our closet. <laughs> take a rat. <rack>, <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. Oh man, we just made it. We made it, baby. Where are we heading right now, man? Oh man, the bad part. Take care of taxes. <laughs> taxes is the worst. If you're an entrepreneur, woo. Taxes is head cut off, man. <laughs> you gotta go pay that tax, bro. You don't pay tax, then you will get tax. But no refund. Let's get it. Guess what? Your boy just made another sell for what? What? Two ninety seven. Oh, fresh man! You gotta have fresh this guy. Okay. Oh, oh my going god, on tax man. You have to have your own personal tax maker. Yeah, and this guy, he's not, he's, help, he's helping us. But how you doing, man? I thought it was you calling me once. Yeah, it was me calling you, but no, it was my fault. The best way to pass that, you know, to pass that fear that make you scared to invest money into your business. What's the best way to pass that? Um, the best ways to do it. Anything, anything you have the fear of, you know, the, the best way to overcome it is, is to do it. The second best way to, is to know. If you inform yourself, like right now, I'm making this video and you're watching, you, now you become informed. So you're not just uh, being driven by your feelings. You're being driven by data. You know what's, what to expect. You know why you're feeling the way you're feeling. And now you just got to move and take action. So the best way to overcome any type of fear is to go do the things that, that, that you fear. 
you know, and that's the only way you're gonna succeed is go do. It. Remember how I showed you how, you know, today so far that thing got to like, you see how I already, it was at 500? See how it got to 900 while we speaking up there? Almost at 1,000? Wow, that's crazy, man. Ah, that's a crazy result. Man, you're not even doing anything. All you've been doing is chilling with me, man. That's, that's how you got to do it. That's crazy, man. man. It's probably oh. gonna be like three or four thousand bucks. That's one side income stream, but you know, you gotta learn how to put that stuff together and create multiple streams of income. And then you can crush it like that, man. I'm telling you, built a business online, change your life. That's how it works, man. Trust me, man. I am going to invest that 5k for sure, man. I have no doubt about it. Thanks for this little time I'm spending with you. That's awesome. Well, thank you very much, man. Yeah, for sure, man. I hope to see you soon again, man. And I'm gonna come back, you know trying to call you back you know i'm i'm, I'm willing to invest on it. i have six thousand dollars sitting down i want to invest it on my shopify store and this is why i you know i came to you because i feel like you you've been helping a lot of people i've seen i watched a lot of your testimony and i've seen how well you know people is talking about you you've seen even, what my man chris has done like yeah chris, even my friend you know, which that, yeah, that's freaking. exactly chris this is a guy i raised with like yeah in school we used to go to the same church yeah you and know this the and guy, that man. now this guy's making that much money and me i'm just still on my day job and i'm trying to quit that yeah but, it's just to prove to you, know, you that it's possible like a lot of people think that you know oh my god it's impossible for me it's possible for other people and you know that's that's the cool thing that's why we keep making these videos and, and for someone like you you've seen someone else who's done it not just me because sometimes people think you're invincible once you get to a stage and you start making stuff happen and they just never think that you started from the bottom but when they can start seeing their peers of other people doing it and other people still finding success making stuff happen it makes them realize man it's not something that is impossible. I can do it too. If this person can do it, so can I. You just got to put in the work. You know, if you put in the work, you make it happen, you see the results. Perfect. Can't wait to see the results. And I'll definitely come back to this video again. You know, explain to the world yeah, great man. work you've been doing, man. That's awesome. Thank you. Tell you, make it happen, man. Awesome. Like so, we are about to go shopping. Um, because we got to take a trip with the girls. We got to go see the grandma. Oh, oh shit. Somebody dropped her phone. Oh, you just dropped her mother's phone like bang. Yeah. Look at that. Look at that. You messed up the phone, bro. Wow. That's how you don't give your iPhone to your kids. Look at them. Thank you. Disaster. Disaster. So, now we're going to go to the to the store right there. Yeah, it's going down. So we about to head up New York. All my fans in New York. My friends in New York. What's up? If you in that area, hit your boy up. Cause we going to go ready for the cold. So everybody get to the car now. Elena, Elena, you in the car? Do you like it? All right, about to ride out. Let's go. Let's See what's up, Brea. So what's up, Ari? We're still in the store. So what's up? What's up? So got me a jacket because it's gonna be cold up there and I don't want the cold to eat me up so your boy got this jacket it's pretty dope we're gonna go and pay now and yo what do you guys think of this of this spending just thinking of getting this spending super dope Yeah, so that's the deal right now. We're still trying to finish up and get some few stuff so we can get going. Yeah. Okay. So we gotta get suitcases now. Suitcases.